21 officers from the now defunct Special Services Unit of the Directorate of Criminal Investigations were on Friday grilled by detectives from the Internal Affairs Unit of the National Police Service over alleged involvement in extrajudicial killings and enforced disappearances in the country. The investigation sanctioned by President William Ruto during his Mashujade speech will seek to find out whether the unit took part in the disappearance of two Indian nationals and a Kenyan taxi driver who were abducted in Nairobi in July this year. And as Hassan Mugambi reports, Acting Inspector General Noor Gabao reviewed changes he recently made to the leadership of the National Police Service and issued further instructions on the president's directives. Just a day after President William Ruto ordered speedy investigations into the conduct of the disbanded Special Services Unit of the Directorate of Criminal Investigations, accusing them of extrajudicial killings and enforced disappearances, 21 officers drawn from the disbanded elite squad Friday morning presented themselves at the Internal Affairs Unit of the National Police Service in Nairobi to honor the summons. The officers comprised of two chief inspectors, one inspector of police, three officers in the rank of sergeant, ten corporals of police and five police constables were questioned for the better part of the day in addition to recording statements on what they knew on the allegations leveled against them. Sources privy to the investigations revealed to Citizen TV that the officers were taken to task on how they handled several prominent cases, key among them whether they took part in the mysterious disappearance of two Indian nationals Zulfikar Ahmed Khan and Mohammed Zaid Kidwai and a Kenyan taxi driver Nicodemus Mwania who are reported to have been abducted near Ole Sereni Hotel in Nairobi. This even as a search operation informed by prior interrogations continued in the Abadea forest where officers are reported to have found what could be belongings and bits of remains of the trio. What was found has been transported to Nairobi, where it is expected to undergo forensic analysis to establish whether the remains belonged to the three. Friday evening, Acting Police Inspector General Noor Gabo issued further instructions on the President's directives to the National Police Service. The IG directed the DCI to finalize pending cases reported on missing persons. He directed the Internal Affairs Unit to finalize matters under investigations where police complicity in crime is the subject. He also directed all officers in the National Police Service to collaborate with other actors in the criminal justice system and uphold professionalism, warning all officers that they will be individually held accountable for their actions. Gabo Alia reviewed changes he made in the leadership of the National Police Service by cancelling the appointment of John Gashomo as the Director Internal Affairs Unit, replacing him with Deputy Director at the IAU, Esther Nganga. Gashomo, who until his transfer was the Director at the Investigations Bureau of the DCI, also served as the Director Anti-Terror Police Unit ATPU. Esther Nganga, who now moves to the helm of the IAU, where she deputized Amin, who is the new DCI, is a commissioner of police and a lawyer. The investigations could see senior officers at the Directorate of Criminal Investigations take to the dock as accused persons facing charges of abuse of office, extrajudicial killings and enforced disappearances. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.